Hello again, it's Mrs Waldron and today I'm going to be teaching you your maths lesson. Okay, so in the last lesson I asked you to go away and to use your ratio chart to draw a picture for each multiplication fact and I showed you an example using the um, shoes. So here I've got an example of um, a representation to go with my number facts, my multiplication fact. Now if you notice that my pictures are just of circles which represent the groups and then inside the groups, inside the circles, I've just put smaller red circles. So it's not about fancy pictures and butterflies, it was all about making sure that you had the opportunity to go away and practice your multiplication facts, your two times tables. So did you do that? Fabulous. If you didn't, don't worry, because you, you can do that at any point. But this is just an opportunity for you to go away and just practice those two times tables. OK, and we're going to need to practice our two times tables and we're going to need our two times tables for today's lesson. So are you ready for some maths learning? Let's move on. OK, so I've got a number line and I'm going to build up a number line showing twos. So the first one, the first multiplication fact I have is zero times two. So at the moment, I don't have any twos showing because zero twos are zero. OK. Now I have one pair of two. So that's one two is two. Now I have two twos. So two twos are four. Fabulous. And you can join in with the chanting with me. And I know you've been practicing in lots of recent lessons. So this is another good opportunity for you to practice your two times tables. So let's have a look at the next multiplication factor that will come after this one. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are 10. Fabulous, you're doing really well. Six twos are 12. Seven twos are 14. Eight twos are 16. Nine twos are 18. Super, keep going. Ten twos are 20. Eleven twos are 22. And 12 twos are 24. Fabulous. So we've got our times table chart and we have our number line to show our multiplication facts. OK, before we carry on with today's learning, let's just remind ourselves what these words mean. So we've got factor and we've got product. One factor is the size of a group. And the other factor is the number of groups that we have. And then the product is the answer. OK, so let's just have a look at this equation. I want you to look at it and I want you to work out which ones are the factors and which one is the product. So which numbers are the factors and which one is the product? And you might want to just pause the video while you say this out loud. OK, fabulous. That's right. Three and two are the factors and six is the product. So a factor times a factor is equal to the product. Oh, can you say that sentence for me? A factor times a factor is equal to the product and the product is equal to a factor times a factor. So I'm going to say that sentence again and I would like you to repeat it for me. A factor times a factor is equal to the product. 
super and the product is equal to a factor times a factor. Fabulous, well done. Okay, so here is the multiplication chart. We're going to say it together, okay? So the first one is 1, 2 is 2. Okay, there it is. Then we will say 2 twos are 4. 3 twos are 6. 4 twos are 8. 5 twos are 10. 6 twos are 12. 7 twos are 14. 8 twos are 16. 9 twos are 18. Fabulous. Keep going. 10 twos are 20. 11 twos are 22. And 12 twos are 24. Fabulous. Well done. Okay. I want you to have a look. I've got some questions. I want you to think, what do you notice? Okay. What changes between each equation? And what stays the same? Okay. And is there a pattern in the products? So you might want to pause this video while you answer the questions or you have a look and have a think. So I want you to have a look. What do you notice? What changes between each equation? What stays the same? And is there a pattern in the products? OK, so just pause the video for a couple of minutes just while you answer those questions. OK, so I noticed three things and I wonder if you notice the same things as me. So the first thing that I noticed was about the first factors. So let's have a look. Can you see the first factors? They are red. And as you go down the list, the first factor increases by one. Why do you think it is increasing by one? That's right, because we add one more two each time. So each time we add one more two. OK, so that was one of the first things that I noticed. The first factor in each equation increases by one each time. OK, fabulous. OK, so the second thing I noticed was about the second factor. Now have a look. Now, as you go down the list, the second factor is always two. What does the two represent? Now, I know that you know this because we are counting in twos fabulous okay we're counting in twos so this is our two times tables chart each group is a group of two and they are all twos just like our shoes it rhymes they are all twos just like our shoes so maybe you could remember that little rhyme and maybe you could jot that down next to your ratio chart OK, so the second factor in each equation is 2. And the third thing I noticed was the pattern in the product. So where is where are the products in the chart? In this chart, I mean, let's have a look. Where are the products? OK, that's right. The products go down. Okay. the products column so I'm just showing you now using the laser that the products column is here and I want you to have a look what does it increase by each time okay so we know that this is our product but what do they increase by each time what is it that they increase by
have a look. What are they increasing by each time? That's right. They're increasing by two each time. So can you see that the products are increasing by two each time? What else do you notice about the products? What do you think they are all? That's right. They're all even, aren't they? Okay, so have a look. I'm using Numicon to show you this. I'm using Numicon to demonstrate that they are all even. And they are increasing by two each time. There's our 20, our 22, and 24. So can you see now we have 24, and that is 12 twos are 24. The products are all even, and the product increases by two each time. Okay, it's a little bit tricky to get your head around, but as long as you know that the products are all even and they are increasing by two each time, and that means that they're getting bigger by two each time, aren't they? Okay, fabulous. Okay, I've got a little friend here, and he's a little bit shy. He has been learning his two times tables just like you have. And he has just said to me, Mrs. Waldron, I think that adding two to an even number gives you the next even number. Didn't you, Steve? Come and see the children. OK, so this is Steve. And this is what he said. He said he's been listening and he thinks that adding two to an even number gives you the next even number. What do you think? I want you to pause the video and have a little bit of a think about it. And you might want to draw something to help show your thinking. Okay? Now, Steve has had, has had a chat with me. So we're going to show you what Steve thinks, okay? So you pause the video and just have a think about whether Steve is correct or not correct. OK, so Steve, you said that you think that adding two to an even number gives you the next even number. OK, shall we have a look? All right, so I drew a number line and I'm going to start with the number six. OK, so here I have six wheels and we know that six is an even number. So if I add two to this even number, I will have eight. OK, so eight is the next even number. What would happen if I added another two more wheels to this number line? What do you notice now? What number has it? What number is going to be next in my sequence? OK, Steve said 10. Did you say 10? Shall we have a look? Fabulous, 10. OK, so by adding 2 to an even number, it gives you the next even number. OK, what would happen if I added 2 more? to 10, two more wheels to 10. What number will I get then? What do you think, Steve? What number will I get then? Okay, Steve says he thinks we will get 12. Oh, did you get 12? Fabulous. And you might want to carry this on at home. Okay, you might want to carry on using your number line representation 
to show that by adding 2 to an even number gives you the next even number. OK, so Steve, you were correct. That is true. Well done. OK, so we know that Steve said that if you add 2 to an even number, it gives you the next even number or a consecutive even number, which means the next even number. But what happens if you subtract 2 from an even number? Oh, that's a little bit trickier, isn't it? So if you add 2 to an even number, it gives you the next even number. But if you subtract 2 from an even number, what do you think will happen? You might want to pause the video just while you use a number line to show this, or you might want to draw pictures just to show. But what I want you to do is to pause it, draw, draw it out to help you, and then we're going to say it together. OK? So if you subtract two from an even number, could you complete this sentence with me? What will happen? It gives you the previous even number. So it gives you the number before, the, the even number before. So just when we had our six wheels and we then added two more, it gave us eight. But then if we had eight and we subtracted two, it would take us back to six. OK, so maybe you could practice adding two to an even number and subtracting two from an even number. So maybe after this lesson, you could practice drawing your number line and showing how to add two to an even number to get to the next even number. Or you could subtract two from an even number. OK, is that all right, Steve? Fabulous. Well done. OK, so just thinking about what we've learned today, we've learned lots and lots today. And I want you to think about what Steve, the duck, said. And I want you to have a look at this chart. OK, so this is a challenge. I want you to have a think what numbers would go in the yellow and green boxes. OK, so just like on the previous slide where we were talking about adding and subtracting, and drawing the number line or any pictures to show. Maybe you could draw pictures or representations to help you with this one. OK, and we will review this challenge at the start of next lesson. OK, well done for today. It's been a really, really fun lesson and Steve made an appearance, so he's not shy anymore. OK, so I want you to go away, I want you to practice your two times tables, and I want you to complete this chart ready for the next lesson. All right, so that's bye from Mrs. Waldron, and are you going to say bye, Steve? Bye-bye.